Welcome back to Thackweem. In today's video, we are kicking off a new OT cybersecurity course designed especially for beginners. Whether you're an IT professional considering a shift to OT cybersecurity, an OT enthusiast curious about cybersecurity, or someone completely new to this world, this course will help you understand the fundamentals of OT cybersecurity, guide you through practical tools, and give you a solid foundation for starting your career in this crucial domain. Stick around for a bonus tip during the video. It's worth it. Imagine a world where a cyber attack doesn't just steal your data, but shuts down an entire city's power grid or halts water supply to millions. This is not science fiction. It's the new reality of cyber threats targeting critical infrastructures. OT cybersecurity, or operational technology cybersecurity, stands at the forefront of defending industrial control systems that keep the wheels of civilization turning. IT cybersecurity protects digital data, networks, and systems like servers, emails, and websites from unauthorized access. Its primary goal is to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. OT cybersecurity, on the other hand, focuses on securing physical systems, such as factory assembly lines or power plants, that control essential services. The stakes in OT cybersecurity are higher, involving not just financial loss, but also health, safety, and environmental impacts. The goal is to ensure the reliability, safety, and availability of these critical systems. This difference shapes the tools, strategies, and skills required for each domain. If you're coming from an IT background, transitioning into OT cybersecurity might seem daunting at first, but it's absolutely achievable with the right approach. Start by understanding the unique nature of industrial systems. Unlike IT systems, OT systems like PLCs, programmable logic controllers, RTUs, remote terminal units, DCS, distributed control systems, and SCADA, supervisory control and data acquisition, are deeply integrated into physical processes. Familiarize yourself with how these devices function and their role in industries like manufacturing, energy, and water treatment. Next, dive into the Purdue model, which outlines how OT networks are structured. The Purdue model is a structural model for industrial control system, ICS, security that concerns segmentation of physical processes, sensors, supervisory controls, operations, and logistics. Long regarded as a key framework for ICS network segmentation to protect operational technology, OT, from malware and other attacks, protocols are another area to focus on. Unlike IT networks that predominantly use protocols like HTTPS and FTP, OT systems often rely on specialized protocols such as Modbus TCP, OPC UA, and MQTT. Each protocol has unique characteristics and security implications, so take time to study how they operate in real-world industrial settings. Practical experience is key. Set up a home lab or use virtual environments to simulate OT networks. Experiment with tools and configurations to gain hands-on knowledge of how OT systems are deployed and secured. This hands-on learning will build your confidence and prepare you for real-world challenges. Finally, certifications can give you a competitive edge. Certifications such as ISA slash IEC 62443 or GIAC's GICSP or GRID are highly regarded in the field and demonstrate your expertise to potential employers. These certifications also provide structured learning paths that cover essential OT cybersecurity concepts. There are two major certification bodies currently very widely recognized, GIAC, Global Information Assurance Certification, ISA, International Society of Automation. There are some of the free trainings by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which I rate very highly compared to many paid trainings. There is also a free certification along with training for the basics of cybersecurity by ISC2. If you come from an OT background, you're likely familiar with systems like PLCs, DCS, and SCADA, and you've spent a lot of time ensuring industrial processes run smoothly. However, with cyber threats now targeting industrial environments, it's time to expand your skills 
beyond operations and into cybersecurity. Begin with networking basics. OT environments increasingly integrate with IT networks, so understanding concepts like managed, unmanaged switches, VLANs, subnetting, and how Layer 2 and Layer 3 devices function is foundational. Mastering these areas will enable you to build secure and efficient network architectures. Deepen your knowledge of cybersecurity essentials. Tools like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, intrusion prevention system, secure remote access, and SIEM platforms are indispensable in OT environments. Learn how to configure and monitor these tools to detect and respond to threats effectively. Compliance standards are vital. Frameworks such as IEC 62443 and ISA 95 offer structured methodologies to safeguard industrial systems. Meanwhile, concepts like zero trust architecture emphasize minimizing trust levels within a network to protect against potential breaches. Acquiring knowledge in these standards not only fortifies your skill set, but also positions you as a compliance driven professional in the job market. Hands-on practice solidifies theoretical knowledge. Establish a test setup to simulate OT scenarios, allowing you to apply and experiment with the cybersecurity measures you've learned. Collaborate with IT and cybersecurity teams to gain diverse perspectives and insights. Your goal is to merge your operational acumen with cybersecurity strategies. There are so much to cover in regards to the terminologies you need to know. In upcoming videos, we'll go deeper into all these terminologies. The demand for OT cybersecurity professionals is skyrocketing, with thousands of open positions worldwide. As industries rapidly digitize, the gap between available talent and job requirements grows wider. Let's break this down. North America. High demand is observed in sectors like energy and manufacturing. According to Glassdoor, OT cybersecurity jobs in this region command an average salary of $120,000, with over 15,000 positions currently listed. The need for professionals to safeguard smart grids and industrial IoT systems is driving this growth. Europe. The push towards renewable energy and smart cities has led to a surge in demand for OT cybersecurity expertise. Countries like Germany, the UK, and France are leading the charge, offering roles that focus on critical infrastructure protection and compliance with regulations like NIS 2. Asia. Rapid industrialization in countries like India, China, and Southeast Asia has created a booming market for OT cybersecurity. Reports suggest that over 20% of global OT job postings come from this region, with a projected growth rate of 8% annually until 2030. Globally, the OT cybersecurity job market is expected to grow by 30% by 2030, with an increasing focus on roles such as security analysts, compliance specialists, and OT pen testers. The gap between job openings and qualified professionals presents a golden opportunity for those entering this field. So what the best way to learn OT cybersecurity for that, you'll need access to the right resources. Here are a few recommendations. First option books, read a lot and a lot of books, but I will give you a list of books in the description that will help you to learn and understand the field. Second option, online learning platforms and certification. Platforms like Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, and Pluralsight offer great OT cybersecurity courses. I will place some links in description for some of the useful courses out there. Bonus tip, Check the description for a quiz link to test your knowledge on ICS cybersecurity. We're just getting started. In the upcoming videos of this OT cybersecurity course, we'll dive deeper into key topics such as understanding PLC, SCADA, and DCS systems. Network segmentation strategies in OT. Real-world cybersecurity tools like firewalls, NMAP, and Wireshark in-depth explanation of the IEC 62443 standard and compliance. Let us know in the comments. What topics would you like us to cover next? Are there any specific tools or certifications you're interested in learning about? Let's shape this course together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. We have much more to cover in this exciting journey of OT cybersecurity.